Well, I've risked not to tell this next story because it's personal, so I'll let you be the judge. It's a story 50 years in the making about two people I know. It's a story about an amazing number of coincidences between two old men in Canton. Five decades ago, in the same town, on the same street, in the same business, fate grew these guys together. Both of them hardware store owners. Yes, they were friendly, but they were also quite competitive. This is Feast Hardware, which has been a fixture in this city ever since I was a kid growing up in this same neighborhood way back in the 1950s. If you ever needed a washer or a piece of pipe, you'd come to this same hardware store and you'd buy it from the owner, John Feast. But you also had a choice. You could have bought those same items from Lincoln Hardware. The sign's pretty much faded. The store's long since gone. Lincoln Hardware on the same street, just down the road a little bit in the same city. A hardware owned by Ted Henry Sr. This, of course, is where the story becomes personal. This used to be Lincoln Hardware. And that apartment on the second floor was Ted Jr.'s first home. Ted Sr.'s kids grew up in this hardware store, and his wife kept the books as his thriving hardware business enabled him to raise a family of eight. And ditto for John Feast. Both German-American working men, both now retired from their hardware stores. From 27 years earlier, both now recovering from accidents in the rehab center at Hanover House. Where by sheer fate, they are roommates. As they took him out, he looked at me, I looked at him. Hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> Later on, he came, I'm going to be your roommate tonight. Yeah. I don't know how to figure that coincidence out. It was the oddest thing. Uh, when I thought, well, John saw me first down there in therapy, and then uh, he says, I think I know you. And I looked at him again, and I said, John Feast, yeah. Feast Hardware, under new management today, still looks just like it did years ago when Feast and Henry walked aisles like this. Turns out these two old fellas even worked their pre-hardware days together in the same Canton steel mill in 1929. And they didn't know that until this week. Lots of coincidences here, even regarding their departure from here. We're both getting out the same day, I think. <laughs> we were, uh, want to see uh, very friendly competitors. <laughs> well, I think it's terrific. I think it's terrific. Uh, John and I, we, we pretty well started out the same way from nothing. Two great old guys given one last endless chance to recall the good old days. Getting tired, John? No, I did <laughs> <laughs> And neither one of them's tired. Oh my goodness. And you know, he's right. They're both leaving Friday morning to go good. home. To live many, many more days. Yeah. What an amazing story. It amazing was a thrill. coincidence. It was, it was, it was fun. Ah, I mean, thanks for sharing that with us. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> Who edited that? Uh... <laughs> Who edited that story on my yeah. dad? Actually, it was my, my cousin's son, Joe Henry, who's been working here for a couple of, couple of weeks oh, now. Nice.